going on YouTube, GS right here. So in today's video, I have great news for those of you having an A12 device, that being the iPhone XS, XS Max, or XR, if you're waiting for a jailbreak. Uncover has been released with partial support for the A12 devices, and Pound to Own posted just a few hours ago, quote, Uncover version 3.5.4 is now out. Now, with SSH support and more for A12 and A12X devices on iOS 12.1.3 all the way up to iOS 12.4, and fixed for the instant or random reboot on A7 and A12X devices on iOS 11 all the way up to iOS 12.4 with the Sock Puppet exploit. And then of course he posted the link which is this one in here and if you get the version 3.5.4 you can see it says add full-fledged support for the SSH with root shell for A12 and A12X devices on 12.1.3 to 12.4. This is massive. He basically managed to do this without having a PAC bypass. So there's currently no pack bypass, no pointer authentication codes bypass available. However, he managed to do all this without having one, which is definitely nice. He also includes, quote, support for arbitrary unsigned code execution on A12 and A12X, he meant to say, devices on 12.1.3 to 12.4. Note, object files have to be signed with a CMS blob using the code sign utility. The CMS blob basically contains the certificate and so on, so it's necessary. He also says in here, add support for running expired or revoked apps on A12 and A12X devices on the same versions, and fix for instant or random reboots after jailbreaking with the Sock Puppet 3.0 exploit on A7 to A12X devices on iOS 11 all the way up to iOS 12.4, quite a range in there. He also says in here, quote, note, code injection is not supported on A12 and A12X devices as of yet. Now, for those of you who are not aware, the code injection is unfortunately what is required in order for us to be able to run tweaks. So for the moment, this release doesn't support tweaks, neither Cydia, because it doesn't have code injection, which is necessary for tweaks to work. Because tweaks basically work this way, they are injected in another binary so that they change the behavior of that binary by either altering the user interface or the control flow or whatever you want. So normally you need code injection for that to happen. But there's also an update provided just a few hours ago by Pound to Own. He said, quote, Uncover version 3.5.5 is now out and it fixes issues with the jailbreak introduced by the last update and iOS 11 support. And of course, if you go ahead and hear, there is indeed the version 3.5.5, which I recommend to get if you're planning to get this A12 support version is this one in here, the latest one, which contains all these in here, but also a couple of fixes. And it says just that, fixes issues with the jailbreak introduced with the last update and fixes iOS 11 support. Because apparently the iOS 11 support got broken on previous updates. And if you want the IPA, you press in here on assets, you get Undecimus IPA. And you can go ahead and get CDA Impactor for either Linux, Windows, or Mac OS. And you can sideload the application using CDA Impactor, which looks like this. You connect your device, drag and drop the file, the IPA you download from here and you'll be good to go. So yeah, while we do not have tweaks for the moment for the A12 devices, this is as far as somebody has gone for the A12 devices on iOS 12.1.3 to 12.4, so the research is going and we have to appreciate Pound Own, Jake James and Sam Bigner for their effort into bringing a jailbreak for A12 and A12X devices. As a reminder, the A12 and A12X devices are basically the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR and the latest iPad Pros, so these weren't currently supported by the jailbreak breaks and now they will be. Currently there is SSH with a root shell and of course unsigned binaries which makes a very very good research device but of course you're not here for a research device you are here for a jailbreak so I will keep you updated once tweaks start to work on A12 devices so do not forget to subscribe. I am Geosnow until the next time peace out.